Greetings my lovely tides and welcome back to another prison recipe taste test. Today I'll be doing a recipe out of this book called Prison Ramen and it's for a wet ramen burrito. <laughs> you gotta make it just simply for that name alone, right? So this is the second time I've made a burrito. If you've missed the first incarnation, I shall put the link down below along with the playlist of all my other prison recipe tests. As you might infer from the name, this burrito is going to be a wet one, meaning you add a cup and a half of boiling water to this mixture to make the burrito set, right? Intriguing. If you like these kinds of recipe tests, be sure to subscribe. I almost forgot to mention the book. The book is Prison Ramen, Recipes and Stories Behind Bars by Clifton Collins Jr. and Gustavo Gust Alvarez. So as you would imagine, you have to be pretty resourceful while you're in prison and you don't have a lot of kitchen implements to make your food. So we're going to be cooking our burrito in the chip bag. Next, we need two flour tortillas. We can take the first one and place it inside of the chip bag. So that's basically what it looks like. Next, we're going to take a package of ramen and crush everything up. Take the seasoning packet. I'm going to add that to here and shake everything up. Then we're gonna add it to our tortilla that's in the bag. Next, we're gonna add a half a cup of Cheez-Its. I'm going to crush them up first. It doesn't say so, but it seems like it'd be a better idea. Add the crushed Cheez-Its to our ramen. Next, we're gonna add a half a cup of refried beans. The recipe calls for summer sausage or Vienna sausage, and I'm just substituting Spam, which I chopped up using my Spam lid. I'm gonna add that. Wow. Next, we're supposed to add a snack size bag of Cheetos. I don't have any, so I'm substituting Takis. That to this. That's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna add jalapenos since I don't have hot pickle. Now we have to take our second tortilla and place this on top. Like that. So we're gonna do an initial roll, give everything a good squeeze, and add in a cup and a half of boiling water. This is the wet portion of the burrito. Here we go. So now we wrap it up tightly. I'm gonna use a towel to kind of keep the heat in and let that puppy sit for eight minutes. Okay, see you in a bit. I wanted to make sure that the contents of this burrito got nicely reconstituted, so I've actually let this sit for more like 15 minutes. All right, let's see how it is. There's some pink liquid still in there. Oh my gosh, it's a monster. There's probably about two tablespoons of water still left in the bag. Of course, you don't have knives in prison, but I'm gonna cut this in half so you guys can see a good look of what it looks like inside. Wow, that looks really unappetizing. I'm really curious to see how well the ramen reconstituted since it was inside the burrito. All right, so let's give this behemoth the taste. Itadakimasu. Mm. It actually isn't bad. It's very salty, as you can imagine, because you have the salty meat, you've got the salty seasoning from the ramen packet, and all those crushed chips. But it's not as squishy and wet as I thought it would be. It kind of soaked up everything pretty nicely. I wouldn't call it delicious by any means, but for what it is, it really isn't bad. So everything is wrapped in tortilla, so it has this kind of vague familiarity of being something that you've eaten before, like a burrito. Just a lot wetter. <laughs> mm. The sourness and the heat of that jalapeno is a really nice contrast and kind of literal pick-me-up from the rest of the salty amalgam that is <laughs> this burrito. While everything is quite kind of squishy and wet, the meat's kind of squishy, the tortilla is definitely squishy, the ramen has just a slight little bite to it, but it actually has softened up quite well with the addition of that boiling water. Actually quite surprised. If I were to compare this to the other burrito that I made, I think I'd like the other one better in terms of texture, but in terms of flavor, I think they're both equally 
tasty. <laughs> so there you have it. That's how to make a prison wet burrito. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Subscribe. Show this video a little bit of love. And I shall see you in the next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>